Another is expert power. And there's a cartoon that I, I really like for this. And it says, you be the young doctor fresh out of medical school, and I'll be the real smart nurse who tells you what to do. <laughs> I think that is, that, is so, that is so true. And my husband has a story that he always tells, which is one of my favorite stories. He tells it when he was in his surgical residency. Mm -hmm. And the first day that he was going to do his own case from skin to skin, gallbladder operation. This is a gallbladder when you made the incision, not the laparoscopy type. Mm -hmm. So he practiced it all night, went over, read all the anatomy. He knew exactly what he was going to do during that case. So he gets in there, and his chief is like standing off to the side, watching how he handled the whole OR and what was going to go on. So he puts out his hand to the circulate to the scrub nurse, and he says, "Mayo," and she says, "I think you mean the Kelly." She puts the Kelly in his hand, puts out his hand again, "Mayo." She says, "I think you need another Kelly." <laughs> he realized that this nurse, with 30 years' experience, knew the entire case. So all he did was put out his hand, <laughs> and she would put the instrument in. Sometimes he'd put out his hand, and she'd go like this, look into the surgical site, and then put, out, <laughs> put the instrument. They did the entire case without saying a word by him just putting out his hand. <laughs> this nurse had walked him through the entire case and did that over four years. And when he graduated and got an award for excellence in surgery, got a medal and a monetary prize, he went back to that OR, gave her the medal and the monetary prize, and thanked her for teaching him surgery. So we do have expert power, and the doctors know it. So just be aware of that power that we have. 